Hi, I'm Ed Kovac from Mrs. Goldbach's room, and today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble your school rocket kit. Now, in addition to your school rocket kit, what you're going to need is Elmer's glue, scotch tape, and a stapler. Here are the parts of the rocket kit. Launch lug, four fins, engine mount tube, engine stop block, two centering rings, nose cone, metal screw eye, wood dowel, engine hook, body tube, shock cord, and a streamer. Locate the two centering rings, engine hook, and engine mount tube. As you can see, there are two slots on the engine mount tube. You're going to put the engine hook into the small slot of the engine mount tube. After you're done doing that, slide these centering rings carefully onto the engine mount tube above the engine hook so you don't wrinkle the engine mount tube. Push one end of the shock cord, the yellow string, through the small square hole in the engine mount tube and pull about three inches of the shock cord through the opening. Starting at the end with the small square hole, put a ring of glue inside the engine mount tube. Make sure to leave the shock cord in the tube. Push the engine stop lock into the ring of the glue inside the engine mount tube, making sure it stops even with the end of the tube. The shock cord should also be through the center of the engine stop block. Make sure it's flush into the tube. Hold the short end of the shock cord, loop it around the other part of the shock cord, and tie several knots in it. This is not in the directions, but we're going to put some Elmer's glue on this knot and let it dry. There are two laser scribed lines on the engine mount tube. Put a small ring of glue around the one of the laser scribed lines. Delicately, slide one of the centering rings over that line of glue. Do the same with the next one. Before the rings of glue dry, make sure the two centering rings are over the laser scribed lines and that the engine mount hook is straight. Take the long end of the shock cord, tie it to the metal screw eye, and tie at least three knots. This is not the instructions, but after you tie the knot, Put a small dab of glue onto it. Wait till it dries. This is not in the instructions, but it is a good idea to run a bead of glue around each side of both centering rings. Then smooth it out with your finger. It is also a good idea to let this assembly dry overnight. After this assembly is dry, cut off some of the extra shock cord from both ends. Holding the body tube upside down with the laser cut slots on the top, drop the metal screw eye through the body tube so that the screw eye ends up hanging out the other end of the body tube. Put 
Put a ring of glue around the inside of the body tube. Slide the engine mount tube into the body tube just a little bit. Put another ring of glue around the inside of the body tube. Slide the engine mount tube into the body tube until there's about a quarter inch left. Wipe any excess glue from the slots. Test fit a fin tab into one of the slots. Apply a thin strip of glue above, on, and below the fin tab. Place the fin in one of the slots. Hold the fin in place for at least one minute, firmly. Let the fin sit in an upright position for a few minutes. Repeat the process with the remaining three fins. Make sure all four fins are perpendicular to the body tube. After you're sure all four fins are on straight, place the body tube upright between two heavy objects and let it dry overnight. Place a thin strip of glue on each side of all of the fins. Wipe it smoothly with your finger. Keep a damp paper towel nearby to wipe the glue from your finger. Place a thin strip of glue on one side of the launch lug. Then, place it on the laser scribed rectangle on the body tube. Make sure the launch lug is perfectly straight on the body tube and let it dry. Locate the quarter inch diameter wood dowel and thread the screw eye into the end of the wood dowel with the pre-drilled pilot hole. Place a liberal amount of glue on the wood dowel and insert, in, insert it into the hole in the base of the nose cone. Once your wood dowel is the whole way into the nose cone, wipe off any excess glue. Lay the streamer out on a desk or table. Place the shock board over the streamer so it is about one inch from the end of the streamer. There should be about six inches between the nose cone and the streamer.
Tape the streamer to the shock cord using transparent tape. Fold the one inch section of the streamer over the shock cord and staple it in two places. Carefully fold the streamer in half and fold it in half once more. Write your name on the streamer. Roll the streamer tightly and place it inside the body tube. Place the streamer and the remaining shock cord inside the body tube. Carefully push the nose cone into the body tube. Avoid pinching the shock cord between the nose cone and the body tube. If the nose cone fit is too tight, gently sand the shoulder of the nose cone until it fits. This is not a part of the instructions, but put a fillet of glue on each side of the launch lug, just like you did the fins. You can paint or decorate your rocket however you want, but no three-dimensional objects can be placed on the rocket.